So you've probably seen Quavo wearing the Balenciaga Hard Crocs and you're probably looking for a cheaper alternative. In this video, I'll be showing you a cheaper alternative, which is the Crocs Classic Crush Clogs in black. So I'm going to be giving you guys a review. This is actually my first pair of Crocs. And I'm going to be honest, I was actually pretty shocked they didn't come in the box. I'm wondering like, yo, why did this actually come in the box? So this is what it came in. So I guess that's normal for Crocs, but this is my first pair. So let me know what you guys think about that. So this is the Crush Clogs in black. And honestly, I have tried it on. I have worn it. These shoes add a lot of height to you. So if you're looking, I don't know why some, I guess some people are trying to get taller. If you're looking to add some height, then I guess these are the best shoes. But I think it's mainly women that have shoes with that add height. But yeah, these shoes are actually pretty cool. In terms of comfort, I would say it's very comfortable. So at the back of the shoe, it has just like your regular Crocs and also the Balenciaga Hard Crocs. It has this tab at the back which you can switch you can either switch it from the front move it to the front if you want it to be more like a slip-on shoe or you can move it to back if you don't want it to be a slip-on shoe right? if you want more grip so for example if you're running or you're walking fast so it doesn't just slip off right away so yeah these shoes are pretty cool I'd say it looks more like the Balenciaga uh, boots the Balenciaga Crocs boots that Kanye was wearing throughout the year. The design is very similar, especially with the sole itself and how it was designed. It's just that this is not a boot. They also have a boot version, which I also checked out. I was trying to inquire about it, but I'm not sure about it, to be honest. I will definitely recommend these shoes. And in terms of sizing, I was just going through the size. So I'm a size 11 and I went with size 11. And so far, I haven't had any issues. If you guys have any questions about these shoes, just let me know. So in comparison to the Yeezy Foam Runners, I know a lot of people have been asking this, but I think the Yeezy Foam Runners are much more comfortable, especially with the way it's designed. Uh, the only thing that I have, this actually adds a lot of height to you. So that's one thing, which I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it's an advantage, but it's kind of weird when you first try it on. It actually adds a lot of height, so I'm not sure it's kind of weird to me because I don't have a shoe with this like that adds so much height yeah so I haven't really worn it out I've only worn it indoors and I haven't had any issues so far obviously with all shoes they have to first break in especially if you don't get the right size but with this shoe I didn't really have that problem if you'd like me to cover a certain topic about fashion or review any shoe or any questions you have just comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.